is the grad student, originally from Michigan, did not play at all for the Wolverines a season ago and has not played much over her last two collegiate seasons. Burrows for three, and she banks it in. She started every game last year. Vergeau hasn't started much over the last few years, but you couldn't tell there. She shot the ball over 20 times on Monday. DeAsia Fair's got the green light, and that's why. Back-to-back -back buckets. Fair with five consecutive points, and the second most points among all scorers in the nation. Gets it to Elena Rice, who scored in double figures against Lafayette on Tuesday, and the reverse lay for her first points tonight who had 15 points, a team high, on Monday against Manhattan, has yet to score tonight. DeAsia Fair looks for another score, and she gets it from long range. She's doing some ridiculous things out there. Getting everything she wants after one. Well, Perkins did a good job of making sure she had room, but by the time that she stopped, her feet weren't really set. Nobody set up under the basket. She just got a piece of it, doing it on both ends. Now trying to do it on the offensive end. DeAsia Fair can't be stopped. Turning in the offense for the second worst defense in the ACC a season ago. The five foot five DeAsia Fair blocks it. And the five foot five DeAsia Fair. A 7-0 run for the Orange. Lafayette without a bucket in the last two minutes. Kenefick changes it. She has been the star of this team right now. Not Bell Lanford. Fair tries to stay hot. Spin and a score. Alyssa Latham had a double double in her SU debut on Tuesday and cleans up the mess there. Elena Rice, a one woman effort. There was no escaping this life. There's no escaping DeAsia Fair. 20 first half points. Me or Sophie Burns? I'll go with you. She does her talking with the shot making. Easy pass, Elena Rice to DeAsia Fair. She's got five triples, her career high is eight. She set that last year on the road against Virginia Tech. The first down low to Elena Rice, potential three point play. Elena Rice took that and fought her way through and she kept her head up in the middle there. She's getting fouled and she was dead set on the basket. Drills it. DeAsia Fair down the left alley, and one! Clap for yourself, DeAsia. You've got nearly 30 points. 30 points, not even two and a half quarters. And there, she found her edge and went straight to the bucket. Fair defending Williams in the corner, Syracuse playing zone. Elena Rice, who has been a ball magnet tonight, helped snatch it away. Lanford goes one for two. She converted 85% of her looks from the stripe a season ago, the most in the NEC. Elena Rice behind the back move, through traffic, no problem. Burrows with the miss, but the offensive board for Wood. Perkins, full head of steam, diving for it. Latham can't get it. Williams, one on one with Wood. The New Yorkers go at it, and Syracuse takes down Buffalo with the cutout of her daughter, his daughter, excited. Kennedy Perkins, and one! The offense flying around in the dome. Through the third quarter, Perkins getting it done. First Passer. assist on the game for her. Passer and a great lead play. A great individual effort from Emma Broon. Defense gets back in time for CCSU. She dishes it to McNabb, who lets it fly, and the bench goes wild. This looks like a much improved offense, Jesse, for first-year head coach Wavini. Oh, offense looks good on the other end, too. Who hobbles and is still on the wrong end of the court, but now on the right end as it's snatched away by sentence. Gets it to Lambert. She was in the right place at the right time. Central Connecticut. Approaching nearly 50 points on the game after scoring only 35 on Monday. The miss from Burroughs, the second chance from Wilson, and Jesse right on cue. That's what she can do down well. It's her first ever collegiate offer. Misses a second free throw, but Burroughs with the rebound, and she finds Wilson, who continues to score. 
Trent to Philly, feeds Burroughs, freshman to freshman, and it pays off. And one over Kennefeck. After the, after the play pointed at each other, giving each other props, that's a good find. Burroughs in the low post. Well, sometimes that's it for college, branching out Buffalo and Philadelphia. Good nine hours apart. Australia a little farther than nine hours away. Sophie Burrows off a spin and score. CCSU turns it over on the inbound. Syracuse nearly 20 points off Blue Devil turnovers. Trent to Philly still in search of her first collegiate points. Can't get it there. Second chance for Syracuse, Kyra Wood continues to pour on the points. Kennedy Perkins dribbles it out. The dome on its feet. Perkins and company excited. Six players getting double figures. Triple figures on this scoreboard as the Orange improved to 2-0.